This is my new redesigned poor man's two-axis head movement mechanism. It was modeled after prop man's version of it, um, which was really great. Uh, it's just that uh, it was such a large uh, mechanism that uh, the character had to be really large and then the head looked uh, out of proportion when you used a regular Lindbergh skull which I use for my talking skulls so uh, I redesigned it and it uses the same swing arm idea that he did it's using a couple new 12 volt motors that I discovered on eBay a lot of torque really happy with these little motors and uh, currently I have them just hooked up to a couple 12 volt wall warts probably wire those together and use one uh, two and a half amp wall wart to run both of those but the centerpiece of my design is using these fittings uh, that are mainly used for furniture but they utilize half inch PVC it's got the four-way fittings uh, at the back of the shoulders to allow the arms to be attached and it uses a five-way fitting right there it's a cross with the additional uh, piece coming out that I've attached a quarter inch rod to, threaded rod, uh, underneath that plastic. Uh, that's just a little plastic water line that is being used just to keep it uh, in line. Uh, but it's a quarter inch threaded rod just bolted into both sides. And then of course the arms uh, come off the shoulders there. So that's my new design. It's a lot narrower uh, and uh, it allows you to use a normal foam skull, which this is one, or a Limburg skull on it, and have your mechanism be more in proportion with the skulls that, and heads that we normally use.